Hi, welcome from japanmath.com. This is a tutorial on how to build your own Soroban slash Japanese abacus. Remember, if you want to develop your math fluency, you can develop it at japanmath.com. There's a lot on japanmath.com, and it really helps you get those addition, subtraction, multiplication, division facts down, and then ultimately leads to some much higher level computation. So japanmath.com is an incredible site to go to. Um, for um, elementary age students all the way to um, business people trying to um, simply s improve their math facts and um, develop a higher level of fluency. Let's continue. For safety reasons, please build this project with adult help and guidance. This is very important. Um, it's a rather simple project, but we are using a hot glue gun. We are going to be um, cutting some wooden dowels, so it's very important um, if you are a child doing this that there's an adult supervising. If you're an adult, also um, be cautious of safety. Um, things like um, wearing safety glasses um, would not be the world's worst idea. Um, also, the idea of having adults do all the cutting and gluing would be a great idea as well. Materials needed to build a Sorbonne. Pony beads, glue gun refills, 1 8 inch wood dowels, newspaper, and craft sticks. Now, if any time I'm going too fast in this tutorial, feel free to simply watch it again. I'll keep it posted online so you can watch it several times and make sure you're doing everything right. Notice the pony bead package here is about 1,500 pony beads. It costs about five, six dollars at Walmart. Um, there was one where they sorted the beads for you in the different colors, but that was like 10, 11 US dollars. So I went for the cheaper one. I also have some glue stick refills for a, no, excuse me, glue gun refills. This is for a smaller glue gun. Glue guns run about three US dollars, um, and the refills about the same range. And then some craft sticks, which also um, for this size um, was a, a few dollars as well. Again, we're getting enough here to build multiple Sorbons. Um, in making this tutorial, um, my little assembly line we made of three people, we made three Sorbons. It was me and two children building the Sorbons. Tools needed. A glue gun, again a small glue gun about three dollars, a ruler with centimeters and inches, and a wire cut cutter. Now in case you are from outside the United States and you don't have a ruler with inches, that makes complete sense, you could go online and Google um, a PDF um, with a um, that will show you um, this the printable ruler that will show you how large it inches and many times I might say that this something should be three inches then you simply um, look at your PDF ruler um, as far as centimeters go that's a global um, scenario you'll have a, um, some type of centimeter ruler out there if for some reason you don't um, you could also print that out too online this is a wire cutter slash um, wire stripper. Um, we um, used the wire cutting feature right here. This was five US dollars at um, Orchard Supply Hardware, another chain store in the United States. Each Sorbon only needs a small amount of your total supplies, as I mentioned before. Um, the Sorbons we make today, which will have nine rods, um, require 45 pony beads, six small craft sticks, are pretty much regular size craft sticks, not the large ones, and nine three inch wood dowels. That means you're gonna get probably a much larger wood dowel and you're gonna to have to cut it into three inches each. Here you're seeing the popsicle sticks and the pony beads. Um, I sorted out the green here for one that's gonna have, of course, green um, beads. Children could easily sort the beads and thread them on the dowels. Um, you do not need to do every part of this assignment yourself. Obviously, this is safe, having them do the threading. Um, and they could obviously do the sorting of the beads, um, and they did. This particular assembly line, we made, as I said, we made three Sorbons. Material to make ten more at least. Um, I was worried about the amount of dowels I bought. Um, they're about 60, 70 um, cents um, each dowel. I bought four, $2.80. Um, if I would have bought more dowels, I obviously could have made a lot more Sorbons, but I've had enough to make, um, from the amount of dowel left over, to easily make about 10 to 15 Sorbons. Um, 
my beads and my um, the rest of the supplies could have easily made 24 or 30 if you're a teacher I guess you could assemble a class set of Sorbons if you wish nine dowels and five beads per dowel um, here we go you can look at the nine dowels with the five beads on them notice the nine marks written on each dowel what I did is and I had the children do this as well nine um, the nine marks were a centimeter apart and the same exact thing here nine marks with a centimeter apart only two craft sticks are used at first two craft sticks used at first each of the dowels are placed one centimeter apart as I mentioned before not that hard of a process you just line them up here we go the bon the pony beads are now separate a weighting of the four remaining craft sticks but all nine dowels are glued on now what you're gonna see if you look closely is that there's some glue remnants glue remnant all over don't worry when you're done you're simply gonna pull all that off could you perhaps go slower and not have it have this be such a sticky mess you could but it's a lot easier to spend about five ten minutes at the end and just pull off all the excess glue than to take forever and worry about glue getting um, a little messy while you're doing it so um, I'm a big fan of just getting it done and cleaning it up at the end, but if you want it very perfect at the end, you can just do these little glue um, little glue pieces and then um, probably avoid some of the mess that I had. Nonetheless, I was able to pull all the glue off at the end and all three, and the Sorbons looked great, as you'll see in the final example. Um, but here we go. I glued on all the dowels um, to this stick and to this stick. Here we have the center stick. The center stick is actually not the center. Why? Because in a Sorabon you have something called heaven, something called earth. Earth represents four pony beads with some space left over. Heaven represents one bead with some space left over. So it's obvious that you want to have your center stick significantly higher up um, to give room for the four with some slack. And then here you have the one, one with a little bit of slack. So you want to be able to move the beads, move the beads. Okay, one pony bead on top and four on the bottom. Notice the center stick is not in the center. Don't mess up. Make sure the um, center stick is not completely in the center. Um, raise it up a little bit. Um, that's one of the reasons, too, why I recommend watching the tutorial more than once. The three Sorabons are now complete. Notice we made three Sorabons. They're all looking pretty good and very similar. And time to begin learning how to use the Sorbonne at japanmath.com. Here's two of our young Sorbonne learners and also learners of japanmath.com with their newly created Sorbonne. Hope you visit japanmath.com. Hope you have an incredible time building your own Sorbonne. Um, please remember this is directions on how to build a Japanese abacus called a Sorbonne. This is not directions on how to build a Chinese abacus. Um, those would um, have, of course, um, the two beads on top um, and um, the different quantity of beads, of course, would make it, um, uh, you'd have to increase the size of your dowels and you'd have to get um, a significant more amount of pony beads to do it. Have a great time and at JapanMath.com. Bye-bye.